Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and today we are going to talk about a moisturizer. We are going to talk about a special moisturizer. We are going to talk about a moisturizer that has an SPF of 25. As if that was particularly special. No, it's not particularly special because there is a lot of uh, moisturizers that has uh, an SPF in it. And uh, here we are talking about the one from CeraVe. And uh, this is uh, this one here. It's called the Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Or oh, uh, I think this is um, a Spanish one I got. I got it on the internet, uh, a pharmacy here in England, uh, over the internet. So, uh, Lotion Hirante de Rostro. I think that is Spanish. And then in... Portuguese, la Thao Facial Hidrante, um, something like that, para piel normal e a seca, so, see, normal, and um, uh, let's just check the English one, dry skin, so, uh, yeah, this is uh, the one we're going to test, and it says uh, up here it has an SPF of uh, 25, so, this one here, uh, it uh, basically uses all those uh, filters that uh, you would normally find in a in a sunscreen that can be sold uh, all over the world really or kind of like so just say it can be sold in america because um, these uh, filters in here they are approved by the fda whereas other sunscreens you can only get here in europe so uh, this one here i thought um cerave it's a uh, it's a nice brand as such. I would say some of their products are nice. Some of their products I don't like. And we have reviewed those uh, products on this channel as well. And you can see some of them up here. So uh, this one here, I would say uh, it, of course, has these uh, ceramides uh, in it. And uh, there are three of them. And uh, it has uh, this sort of uh, waxy sort of feel uh, on this skin. But uh, I would say um, in this uh, sunscreen here, it actually works uh, really well uh, because it has a sort of a special effect uh, on your skin compared to when you're just using a normal sort of a sunscreen. And we can talk about that uh, a little bit later. And uh, this one here, uh, does it sting your eyes? Well, let's uh, talk about that uh, a little bit later as well. So uh, let's just uh, try and see how does it actually look. Has it any perfume in it? No, it does not have any sort of a perfume in it. So uh, this one here, we will just uh, try it uh, on my face. And uh, how much should we use? Well, I think that one of the problems with uh, a product like this, which is an SPF of 25, and it is a day cream, is that people they are just using what they feel is enough in order to have a nice feel on their skin and that would be wrong because then you are not getting the SPF of 25. Unfortunately, you need to use uh, rather a lot in order to get uh, the SPF of 25. And here I have uh, a spoon which is uh, one milliliter and that is basically not even enough because for my face and for, I would say, the average grown up sort of face, you need uh, about uh, 1.25 milliliter. So uh, that would be a little bit more uh, than in this one here. So we just uh, pump it up. So that was three, so four and five. And I would say this might not even be uh, 1.25, might be a, a little bit less. So that was five. So we just give it a, a little bit more, almost a pump more. So rather safe than sorry. And this amount here, that is for the face and for uh, the neck, but it's not for the shoulder. So yeah, let's see. Uh, one thing uh, when you put it on, I just do it a, a little uh, by little. And by the way, I don't have anything uh, on my face. I don't have a, a day cream on my face at the moment. I just use uh, uh, CeraVe's other product, the uh, micellar uh, cleansing water with the uh, ceramides in it uh, as well. And uh, I don't feel any tightness or anything like that uh, on my skin. So the ceramides are actually working pretty well, I would say. So here goes, we just, um, this is of course for the entire face and it is for the neck as well. So um, we just uh, see uh, what happens. It has some of the neck as well. So we don't get all of the stuff uh, on the face because that would not be fair to the product. So we put it up here. And I will say what happened uh, when I wore it uh, during uh, the day, I tested it this one here uh, the other day and um, one of the issues uh, with it is that uh, it feels nice on the skin as such. But uh, if we are looking at what is going on with uh, the eyes, then um, it it stinks your eyes. And it, it stinks your eyes in a way that I was just like, I cannot handle this. And it is the normal uh, sort of uh, UV filters that are in the product. So there's no kind of like a strange new thing in it as such. 
when it just like it really 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 annoyed my eyes and yes i did put it uh, on my eyelids as well and up around the eyes but uh, i cleaned my uh, eyes uh, during the day and then later i cleaned them again but still the rest of the stuff from uh, the that was on the skin on the other part of my face i kind of like down to here it will simply just start to migrate into your eyes and somehow it's just you need to clean your face completely in order to get rid of it i mean yes if you're leaving something on your chin it might not migrate to your eyes but uh, otherwise i guess you know what i mean so does this feel really really greasy uh, on the skin and that's uh, where we are looking at the ceramides again because what i think is going on here is that because the ceramides they are uh, a waxy substance then what happens is that uh, it actually sort of uh, controls the oiliness of these um, sun filters or that is how it feels compared to when you are looking uh, at other uh, sunscreens and then uh, there is uh, of course there's a dimeticone in the product as well and that has a sort of a greasiness sort of stabilizing sort of uh, effect uh, on this skin but uh, one thing i don't like uh, about dimeticone is that if there is a lot of the stuff in the product the product usually starts to sort of uh, roll off your face particularly if you have used uh, some sort of a serum uh, underneath so that uh, i think if you're using too much uh, dimeticone in a product it can be really um, problematic so now you can see I did not have any sort of uh, other cream on and as this is a day cream then it is meant to go on your face without anything else uh, on your face. So like that and I just keep it relatively I would say this is actually pretty close to the eyes because what will happen is that from this distance here it will simply just start to migrate into your eyes and usually you do touch your face during the day you touch your eyes and it kind of like it just will migrate at some point and it was really really uh, not uh, nice so I would say when I feel uh, on the skin compared to if I have used uh, some sort of uh, other uh, sunscreen I would say this here uh, works pretty well because of the uh, ceramide so you very quickly get a sort of um, non-greasy uh, feel compared to a greasy sunscreen I would not say that I could compare to something that was really kind of like for um, oil control or something like that. Of course not, because not a sort of a oil control sort of a product. But compared to how uh, a normal a sort of a sunscreen works, I would say it worked uh, really uh, well. It felt like um, a little bit of some sort of a greasiness to begin with, but then it kind of like uh, was uh, basically pretty uh, fine after a little uh, while. So now we have it uh, on my face and if we just look how much does it shine I would say it has a sort of a shine yes but it's a sort of a controlled uh, shine it's sort of a um, it's not matte but it's not like if you're putting an oil on your face and really kind of like emphasizes everything and the pores looks really really huge it, I wouldn't say that it's uh, like that so for that it, it works uh, pretty well there is uh, another ingredient in the product uh, as well which I cannot uh, kind of like pronounce but I will write it down here and that is also something that is supposed to give a sort of um, powdery sort of a feel uh, on the skin or that is uh, normally why uh, that ingredient is uh, used in uh, creams and lotions and potions so I would say this uh, for a day cream that has an SPF in it and where I need to use more than maybe most people would do when you're using a, a day cream then I would see it um, it works uh, relatively well and it will be easy to add a little bit of some sort of a setting powder on top or perhaps some uh, silica powder which I have shown in other videos how you can use in order to mattify uh, a sunscreen and that is uh, what they are using when they are doing these sort of um, oil controlled uh, sunscreens they are using a uh, silica so uh, yes I would say um, if you kind of like can get around that your skin will be a little bit of uh, a feeling of some sort of a waxiness on your skin then uh, I would say uh, this is compared to uh, other um, creams that also annoy your eyes then I would say 
this uh, is a good one as such but uh, for the issue with uh, something that is sting in your eye i would say if you have something that is sting in your eye anyway then uh, i would say yes they can, you can just use this one as well it will also sting your eye well i use it again definitely not uh, it really really annoyed my eyes um, but uh, apart from that i felt that um, the way it sunk into my skin compared to it being a sunscreen and not a sort of a mattifying product i would say uh, basically um, I was surprised that it worked that well and as I said in the beginning I think it is because of the uh, ceramides in the product it kind of like controls the oiliness and makes it a more like um, a thicker sort of a waxy sort of a coating as you would expect from a uh, ceramide which are waxy substances so yes uh, that was my verdict I would say the way it feels on the skin kind of like yes okay but it stings my eyes uh, enormously and for that i would say don't use it unless the alternative is something that is worse and uh, be careful with having it too close to your eyes wear some shades uh, instead so yes that was my verdict uh, on this uh, product here this one here from uh, CeraVe and we will, will be looking at their normal moisturizer as well the one that does not have the SPF 25 in it in another video which sunscreen do I normally use? Well, I have made another video about that and uh, that is uh, the one here from La Roche Posay and I will list there uh, what it is as well. So yes, if you would like to see more of this sort of videos, please subscribe to the bell and do all the things you must do in order to be notified when I upload more of this sort of videos. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.